So what's up guys? It's Jaden back with another video. Today I'm gonna be doing my NBA week in review. So let's get it started. First of all, like I said last week, LeBron James and Melo. LeBron James, LeBron, Wade, and Bosch have all opted out. All of them. They've all opted out. They're no longer with the Heat temporarily because because um free agency. So, yeah. So, they're in the free agency class right now. Let me move to some better lighting. Um, They're all in free agency right now. Whoa. They're all in free agency right now. And Carmel Anthony opted out of his contract with the Knicks. He's in free agency right now. Free agency starts July 1st. July 1st, they can start signing people. Now, I think that since my next topic is going to be kind of coexisting with, with this topic, but what I think is going to happen is I don't think the big three is going anywhere, really, because their future, they wanted to win, they wanted to win championships. They've been to the finals four years together. They, sure, they've only won two. They've only won two. But four years is not is nothing to laugh at. Four years in a row. That's something that Michael Jordan never did. Give it but I think we could all agree that if Michael was in the NBA and didn't retire due to his father and his death, um, that they would have won eight straight championships because that seems like something that Michael Jordan would do. So, but now that makes LeBron two for five in the finals, like I said last time, two for five. So, what I think is going to happen now is I think that either LeBron James is going to leave because he's asking for a max contract, and I don't think Wade and Bosh are willing to make that cut. And I think that LeBron is able is willing to take a max contract somewhere else. That's my opinion. And with Melo... I want Melo to say, but I just don't think it. I don't. I just don't think it's happening. We can all dream though. Knicks tape for life. Still gonna be a Knicks fan. I'm not a bandwagoner, so just telling y'all that. Um, next NBA draft. The NBA draft was really good. I think that it that it was full of surprises, and I got my draft grades too. So. The seven, well, the good, the bad, the horrible, and the great. Let's start with the great. Not being, not, I'm not just saying this because I'm a Knicks fan, but the Knicks had an awesome, awesome draft. Stealing Clay Anthony early with number 34 and stealing the Nazis Antetokounmpo, brother of Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. They are Greek freaks. He's 6'8", 205, but his, like like his brother, his hands are huge. Wingspan's huge. Was in the D-League dunk contest. Was a D-League all-star. Awesome. Like, he, he's going to make a difference on the Knicks. Um, the good. Good draft picks. I think that some good draft picks were... I think the Bulls getting Doug McDermott, I think that was a great move for them to get Doug McDermott and trade for him. Now, the Nuggets on the other side, I think that they kind of got the short stick of the deal because why would they need Gary Harris when they just got Aaron Aflalo earlier that day? Um, like I don't think that that, that was good. And Yusuf Nokic, draft and stash, he's going to be overseas. The bad. Orlando Magic. Dante Exum's on the board. Marcus Smart's on the board. Who should we pick? Aaron Gordon. Are you serious? Are you serious? Why Aaron Gordon? Why? You are stacked at the power forward and center. Why would you need Aaron Gordon? You are even stacked at small forward. You don't need Aaron Gordon. Oh, but we need athleticism. Dante Exum is athletic. Marcus Smart is athletic. 
shaking my head. Then the biggest, 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 biggest mistake. Toronto Raptors. Come on, man. Come on. I don't even remember the dude's name. It was something Cabasio or something. Who? <laughs> Who? Who's Carbasio? He gonna be overseas for at least two years. Sad. Then I want to talk about what the NBA did with Isaiah Austin. I thought that was awesome. Him being an honorary pick. I think that was really classy by the commissioner, Adam Silver. He's getting off to a really good start. And also, Zach Levine. Zach Levine, my bad. Zach Levine, what's your problem? You got drafted by the Timberwolves. We know they suck. But, really, did you have to go there? Most people, like me, me, it's my dream to make it to the NBA. That's just my dream. If I meet, even made it to the NBA, I'd be excited, heads over heels. But this dude gets drafted and says a bad word because he didn't get drafted to the team he wanted to go to. It's poor sportsmanship right there. Because there's a lot of undrafted free agents that would love to have taken your place. Look at C.J. Fair. C.J. Fair deserves to be in that draft. He could have loved to be in your place. But nope, you want to be rude. And the last topic of the day is Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd has been looking for a bigger role with the New Jersey Nets. He said that he wants to have, wait, did I just say New Jersey? With the Brooklyn Nets. My bad. I'm a Knicks fan. I butchered that name. I butchered it. My bad. But he's looking for a better role with the Brooklyn Nets. He said he wants to have a Phil Jackson type of role. Are you serious? You know Phil Jackson has 13 championships, right? As a coach and a player. Let's see how many you have as a player. Hmm. Oh, yeah. One with the Mavericks. You don't deserve a Phil Jackson type of rule. So now he's looking forward with the Bucks. The Bucks. That's the wrong team, yo. That's the wrong team. You should never look for the Bucks. But that's all Jason Kidd. That's him. We're going to see where this plays out and if it plays out. So thanks to you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, and please, please, please subscribe. So I'll see you all next time. Peace.